Welcome back to Hannity. Joining us in studio tonight for our great American panel, Miss New York USA 2013, Joanne Nosajinsky, and Fox News contributors Guy Benson and Jimu Green. So to start off, we have more outrage from the folks over at MSNBC because they have Sarah Palin derangement syndrome all these years later. Let's play a clip from that. What are they so upset about? Sarah Palin dropped by Fox and Friends to promote her manifesto on Christmas purity. She brought a treat better than Christmas cookies, family photos. As we look at another picture One of more. the family, there they are. Not so fast, Palin. We learned some important lessons on Monday about all the Arbor activity in those pictures. I even had to break out the good book. Not hers, of course. Certain parts of the Bible also appear to preach against, let's say, oh, I don't know, Christmas trees. Here's Jeremiah 10.10. 10. It reads, For the practices of the peoples are worthless. They cut a tree out of the forest, and a craftsman shapes it with his chisel. They adorn it with silver and gold. They fasten it with hammer and nails so it will not totter. Like a scarecrow in a cucumber field, their idols cannot speak. They must be carried because they cannot walk. Do not fear them. They can do no harm, nor can they do any good. Now, a Christmas purist wouldn't want us straying from the Bible on Christmas, would she? So, Guy, don't you just love it when rabidly anti-Christian people like to lecture us about Christianity and Christmas? I mean, is it anti-Christian now to have a Christmas tree? Really? I want to know what MSNBC would do without Sarah Palin. There would just be hours of dead air time. They can't talk about how great Obamacare is for obvious reasons. So instead, let's make a controversy out of Sarah Palin showing a family photo for two seconds of a Christmas tree, citing something about uh, from Jeremiah which is if I recall in the Old Testament which would be before the birth of Christ before there even was a Christmas hmm. Hmm. and that's apparently taken into whatever context she wants an attack on Sarah Palin's Christianity I don't understand this impulse sometimes on the left to go after people's faith Joy Reid did it with Sarah Palin Harry Reid no relation did the same to Mitt Romney saying that right. he had sullied Mormonism. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that about? It's very judgmental, actually. What do you think, Jamu? <laughs> I thought we were all about tolerance over on that channel we will not speak of. Well, I'm not sure where your sense of humor has gone because clearly was Joy Reid was, was funny. being facetious. Oh. And you just had a segment where Dana talked about how can you have outrage when someone cites scripture, which is exactly what Guy Benson just did. We have some conservatives. I'm not sure, anyone, I don't know, sure anyone's outraged. We have so many outraged. conservatives who will pick selective words from the Bible and wrap themselves in it when they, at the same time, through all of their policies, forget the biblical call for social justice. But the only people wrapping God's themselves in the only per people you can't have it both the ways. The only people wrapping themselves in scripture on, on that last clip was Joy Reid. But what do you have to say about it, Miss New York? Um, the real issue is not the trees; it's vanity which I believe is a sin. I want to show you pictures of myself that I brought. Oh, I mean, you. really, who hasn't been to church on Christmas Day and there's Christmas trees in the church? Right. That is not the issue. I do think that, I certainly hope that they were just poking fun at it. Yeah. Because if you really believe that to be a terrible thing, I don't know, go look at more pictures of me. Well, speaking of another thing that people think is quite a terrible thing, Beyonce is now under a lot of fire for using some audio from the 1986 Challenger crash in one of her new songs. The families are saying that it was very inappropriate and sensitive for her to use that. She's coming out and saying in response, basically, that she wanted these people to be remembered. Um, I'm not sure I buy that much. I think Beyonce has a habit of doing things without thinking too much for beforehand, whether it's performing for Gaddafi before he was killed, uh, going to Cuba, not thinking about what that actually meant. And now we have this and I think that she probably just didn't pay too much attention to this before it came out. What do you think? Look, I think Beyonce has proven she is extremely smart, she's extremely savvy, and separate from Beyonce in this situation, we have a lot of lessons that can be learned from any disaster, which is the exact point that the families built this center around the Challenger uh, disaster. I think this situation highlights the disaster for a whole new generation who wasn't alive when this happened. I was in seventh grade when the Challenger explosion happened. Think of all the young people who are now learning about this because of this song. That's kind of, I think, selective outrage that should actually just take a step back and say, maybe this is something that we can use to bring more attention to this disaster and let new generations of but people Guy, learn do you think it. that it's selective outrage, considering the family members of those who right. were killed are, are upset about this? I don't think that's selective outrage. I, that's the most upsetting part, is that members of these families were hurt by this. And I'm not going to sit here and throw stones at Beyonce for, for including it in her song. I think if you're going to do that and you're going to come out 
with this explanation afterwards saying, oh, this was really a tribute to them. You should make that clear from the beginning and ask permission. It's just an easy, basic thing to do is to go to the families before you release the song and ask permission and explain why you're planning to do what you do rather than just release it and then come up with an explanation or an excuse, depending on how you look at it afterwards. Right. What do you have to say? Um, artistically, probably really cool. That's why she wanted to do it. However, if it's not a tribute, you just have to be very careful right. with what you're doing. Um, and I think that really a great thing could have been to then take proceeds from that song and then donate it to that foundation. Great idea. If she really wants to Good apologize call. to families. Great and idea. Well, we'll, we'll be right back. we got to run. Set. We'll be right back.